go. My green circle's getting very uh, down there. I'm gonna slow down till I'm at, there we go. Now I wanna go a little faster. Come on, you can do this. There we go. Okay, good. It's very slightly down. And we're gonna very, very slowly approach that last bit. Looks like I need to go very slightly to the left. It's at this point that instrumentation is a little uh, weird. So I need to go down. If I hold control, I can engage thrusters at 10% max. That's how I'm doing all these very fine adjustments. Very slightly down. I don't really need to go to the left anymore, so... There we go. Now if I take a look at how that looks, now isn't that beautiful. It's not perfect, but you know what? What is? <coughs> <coughs> Once we get to uh, distance zero, or reasonably close to it, it's just going to dock us. We're suddenly going to stop moving. I'm not really going to have to do anything special. It's just going to happen when I get that close at the right angle. So, see, there we go. I am docked. No matter what I do, I will not move. Now, I can't quite say that. While docked, unless it, unless you're intending to do something to the orbit of the other uh, vessel, don't engage your thrusters or anything. What I've done in the past accidentally is, you know, left my thrusters on even a tiny bit, you know, some small bit that uh, I forgot to uh, take off. And uh, I went to the bathroom, uh, I took a shower, uh, went and got a sandwich, uh, talked on the phone a little bit, came back and the International Station, Space Station was bouncing around the Indian Ocean. You don't want to do that. No one's going to like you if you do that. Or rather, the kind of people who would like you are not the kind of people you want liking you. So that concludes this tutorial. Uh, what we covered was mostly a uh, review of previous lessons and uh, some uh, new skills in your linear translation that you use to dock with a object in space which you rendezvoused with, which is a new skill in your uh, tool set mm. now. So, uh, next tutorial, be, uh, be prepared. Uh, next tutorial is going to be the Mars tutorial. I'm still working on the Keplerian orbital mechanics tutorial. I want this to be very complete and very, very accurate. So that's why that one's taking so long. That one's pretty much a uh, PowerPoint presentation. Also, uh, I'm also having a little trouble getting fraps to record PowerPoint. So, now that you have all the uh, tools needed, we're going to go to Mars. We're going to rendezvous with one of its moons. We're going to land on Mars. Actually, here, let me give you this from the uh, beginning. We're going to take off from Cape Canaveral. We're going to go to Mars. We're going to rendezvous with one of its moons. What we're going to do after that is we're going to land on Mars, take off from Mars, come back to Earth, and land on Earth. Yes, this is going to be a very, very long trip. And... For this trip, I'm not going to be explaining a whole lot because you, on these previous tutorials, pretty much know everything you need to know about uh, all the various skills that you're going to be using other than uh, 
descent. That I'm going to be explaining very well. All right. Uh, on another note, various people have been asking about uh, other types of uh, tutorials. For example, there was uh, someone who was talking to me about the Apollo missions. Actually, various people who asked me about the Apollo missions, but one person who really uh, got me to buckle down and take a look at the uh, Project Apollo add-on. I would love to do a tutorial on this. I would absolutely love to fly Apollo 11 because in all honesty if you look at the time and you look at the people involved in terms of raw human accomplishment throw out all of genetics, throw out all of computer engineering there has never been more of a supremely human accomplishment than Apollo 11. I would be honored to fly that mission. The problem is the add-on itself is bugged. It's unusable. I, I, I can't fly it. So once it's, once it's working, I'll be very happy to do that. I mean, seriously, please keep me up to date on the progress of this add-on. It looks very promising, and I'm very impressed that they uh, emulated the disky. Uh, which those of you who are familiar with the with Project Apollo are aware is pretty much their equivalent to a multifunction display before uh, they quite figured out graphics. But the problem is, uh, I can't get the disky to work. I'm sure they have it working. I'm sure in their perfect install it works. On uh, in the wild, I haven't seen it working, and uh, I can't get the uh, interplanetary multifunction display to work on there. It's it, 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 it's buggy. It's great to feel about. During the launch, I was sitting there getting very emotional listening to the recordings right before the uh, Apollo rocket, uh, I'm sorry, the Saturn V for Apollo 11 lifted off. And you can hear in his voice the excitement. And if you look at these three people who got into that uh, command module, they didn't know whether they are going to burst into flames uh, immediately or not. They didn't know. It was the first time anyone had ever done it. There was no uh, one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind before them. So, by my ranting, you can tell I'm very impressed with Apollo 11, and I'd be very honored to fly it. Just please keep me up to date on how they're doing. And uh, once they get it to a point where I can fly Apollo as if I were Buzz Aldrin, I'll do it. And I'll uh, do it for all you here on uh, YouTube. On another note... Uh, Actually, on another note of unstably buggy, shuttle landing. I'll be happy to show you guys landing a uh, Delta Glider. The reason that I never did a shuttle Atlantis landing tutorial is because its hypersonic model, that is when I first re-enter the atmosphere, is wrong. You can do everything right, you will skip off the atmosphere, and you're just kind of looking back at where you were supposed to land or wondering, wasn't I supposed to be on the ground right now? As soon as they fix that, I'll be happy to do a shuttle landing tutorial. But I'm not going to give you guys wrong information that way. Because you can land a shuttle in orbit, or you just have to do it the wrong way, which I'm not going to present that as fact. That's not realistic. But yeah, uh, comment, uh, friend me, subscribe to me, yell at me if I got something wrong. Uh, if you see the flashes and I gave you a seizure or something, uh, throw eggs at me. Just be very aware that, well, as you can tell, I'm familiar with orbital mechanics and uh, Newtonian mechanics. I can send that egg right back at you. Anyway, uh, signing off.